How's it going Wasteland Wanderers? Welcome back to IG2K Gaming and today I'm going to be showing you how to make unlimited adhesive in Fallout 4. So as you can see, I've gone to a cooking bench and I've opened up the recipe for vegetable starch. For this recipe, we're going to need corn, mute fruit, purified water, and potatoes. The first area that we want to travel to is called Warwick Homestead and can be located here on the map. Once you arrive at the Warwick Homestead, you'll find a decent amount of mute fruit and potatoes. Once you have collected all the ingredients, head over to the settlement called Covenant, which can be located here on the map. Once you arrive here, you'll find a small patch that contains corn, mute fruit, and a few potatoes. Once you've collected all the resources here, you're going to want to head over to the settlement called Bunker Hill, which can be located here on the map. Once you've collected everything from Bunker Hill, you're going to want to head over to the Slog, which can be located here. Once you arrive at the Slog, you'll find a decent amount of corn. The next location that has the resources that you're looking for is called Somerville Place and can be located here. This location will also have a decent amount of corn for you to collect. The next location that you're going to want to head to is called Greentop Nursery and is located here on the map. This location has a good amount of mute fruit for you to collect, not only on the trees but inside the house that is here as well. The next location for you to head to is called Finch Farm and is located here on your map. Here you will find more mute fruit and corn to collect. The next location that we're headed to is called Abernathy Farm and is located here on the map. Once you arrive at Abernathy Farm, you will find a decent amount of potatoes for you to collect. The last location that we're going to cover in this video is called Grey Garden and can be located here on the map. Now that we've collected all of our ingredients, we're going to head back to the cooking bench and craft some vegetable starch. As you can see in the video, each vegetable starch that we craft breaks down into 5 adhesive. Now that we have made all this adhesive, if we wait a couple of days, the ingredients will respawn and we can go and collect them again. Thanks for watching everybody and if you found this information useful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content. Today's video ending question is, what material do you always seem to run out of? Leave your answers in the comment section below and I might be able to cover it in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a great day everyone.